So with the Oil Express instrument, after running for a period of time, for an extended period of time, you may note that the syringes and the four port valves will need to be replaced. Especially with dilutions, you may see a head space at the top of the syringe during the aspiration cycle of the syringe. If you see this, you need to check your syringes and you need to replace them if necessary. Also, if that doesn't fix or take care of your head space or an air issue in your system fluid, you'll also need to replace the four port valving. This seems to occur more often with the oil express instruments that are dual mold or the oil prep systems. The first thing you want to do is clear the deck of your instrument and make sure that you do not have any lab wear that might be in the way of your accessing the syringes. Open the software into WinPrep. Go to WinPrep Open, Protocols, and you're going to select Change Syringe, in this case, OE4XL. There's another one for the short or mini deck. You want to make sure that your deck layout appears correct. Whenever you start this, the VersaTips are going to go over to the dispense cup area to give access to the syringes. Once again, make sure that there is nothing in the way and click Run. You'll see that the syringes move down. This is to allow you to unscrew the syringe and remove it from the four port valve. Once the arm has moved out of the way and the pump has moved down to the lower position for the syringes. You're now ready to remove the syringe and check your syringe and replace it if necessary. Now when you loosen the syringe, there will be some heptane spillage, so we're going to use a paper towel here. And we're just going to loosen this guy, and if he's too tight, you can use a pair of duckbill pliers or something similar and very carefully without slipping you're going to just rotate it counterclockwise so that you can loosen the syringe. Remove the screw that drives the syringe shaft. Lay it aside. Finish unscrewing the syringe. Then you can move the syringe to a waste container to properly dispose of the heptane. Fill of the syringe, if it feels stiff, then it's a good indication that your syringe plunger is still making a good contact with your syringe. If it's very loose, then you'll need to replace it. So if you decide the syringe needs to be replaced, the new syringe will come with a complete assembly that you will just replace into the pump location. If you need to clean it, you'll remove this bottom seal. It can be stiff. And you, if you have residue, especially with some of the systems that use the kerosene for dilution, sometimes there will be some buildup around this, the seal of the syringe. You can clean that very carefully and you can also clean the barrel of the syringe, put it back together and sometimes that will help to restore the function of the syringe. If you're replacing it, everything will come ready to go. You just remove the new syringe from the packaging. You'll want to make sure that you do not cross thread this when you start it back into the four port valve. Just snug it up. Do not over tighten it. Then we're going to use the screw that holds the shoulder screw that holds the syringe shaft. Pull it down very carefully and make sure that you keep it in alignment with the drive assembly for the pump and it may take a couple of times to get everything aligned. 
but now you have your new syringe installed and it will be ready to go. Now, with some of these systems, especially the ones that run dilutions as mentioned before, the four port valve can be an issue. So if that turns out to be the case, you're going to follow the exact same procedure for removing the syringe, replace if necessary, and put the old one over here. We're going to loosen the fittings on the side for the system fluid lines that go into the four port valve. We're going to leave the plug in the top of the four port valve to help us with our orientation later on. We're going to use an imperial standard set of Allen keys and remove the screws from the face of the four port valve. All of the screws on the oil express, express instrument should be imperial standard with the exception of any motors. The motors are usually metric. Now, we remove the old four port valve by pulling it straight out. We're going to leave it in this orientation with the plug still intact. We're going to take our new four port valve We can reuse the screws that came from the old valve, or we could use the new ones. It really doesn't matter. Now, the most important thing to recognize is that there are different threads on the four port valve. So all of the threads will be coarse with the exception of the syringe threads, which are fine. So we're going to make sure that we find the fine threads and we're going to check it with our syringe to make sure so that is the correct threading for the syringe. So we're going to take the plug and place it into our new four port valve. Now, we can just take the syringe back out. If this has any resistance at all, you've either cross-threaded it or you've put it into the incorrect location. You can also note that the screw positions will help with this as well. Although you could have it 180 out, so once again, you still have to pay close attention to the threads. Now, you will note that the new valve comes with the internal valve body turned in a different direction than it was when it came out. So there's a flat similar to a radio knob that is on the pump shaft. This is important. If you do not orient this correctly and just try to force this back on, it will or can at least break the motor drive shaft for the pump. So we're going to turn it so that the flat lines up on the pump shaft and we're going to rotate it to its correct position. We're going to make sure that our screws can start properly. We're going to at least get those started. We're not quite going to tighten them up all the way yet so that it can seat without being in a bind once we have the syringe reinstalled. Okay. Now we'll install the syringe. Finger tight, use our screw to align the syringe shaft and pull it straight down. Finger tight that, finger tighten that. Finish tightening the mounting screws for the four port valve.
once you've completed the installation of the syringe and or four port valve, go back to the software, select OK. The syringe will go back to the up position. And then it, you receive a message that says you must update the syringe parameters. If you've changed the size of the syringe, that should never be the case. Select OK. And then if you would like, you can go to Utility, Setup, Instrument, and Park All Arms to move the arms back to the left side of the instrument so that you can repopulate the deck. Once you've completed the installation, it will be necessary to prime the instrument at least twice to clear the system fluid of all the air. And that should complete the installation of the four port valve and or syringe.